Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're not new. I know it's been a while. I'm so sorry that it's been forever, honestly. And then you can see like my patio furniture there and then some PR. But yeah, it's like, my life's like not a mess. It's like okay right now, but I feel like for some reason, some reason it always gets a little crazy. So anyway, I wanted to thank you guys for coming to watch this video. I know it's been a while since I've done a sit down, get ready with me, but here we are. So. I also wanted to thank Dossier for sponsoring a portion of today's video. My, okay, so you guys know Danielle, Danielle, caviar queen. Um, she said that Tom Ford Lost Cherry is her signature scent. What did I do? Immediately, immediately started using Ambry Cherry. So this is Ambry Cherry from Dossier. It's similar to Tom Ford. And then also their Baccarat Rouge version, Ambry Saffron. This is one of my favorites like of all time. It doesn't last super, super long, but I think it lasts long enough for me because I'm not out for like the whole day, almost ever. My, I think like my, my longest day is probably like six hours, which I don't think is a long time. And it does last for that long. I can still kind of get a whiff of it, so. These two are my current favorite. Dossier is a perfume company based in France and they use all clean ingredients and it's great because if you guys have pets, you don't have to worry about them being allergic to any of the scents. Dossier also does have a money back guarantee so in case you guys are not loving the product or you guys feel like you want to switch it for something else, you definitely can do that and if you decide you just don't want the product at all, then they will give you a full refund and I do have a coupon code down below so I will leave a link so you guys can go ahead and head to the website and I think the discount code will actually be applied automatically as long as you use the link. Dossier perfumes have been a staple of mine for three years now I've been working with them and I'm so glad that I discovered the brand because it's amazing and they provide perfumes at a fraction of the cost of it allows you to save money while also being able to try out things that you've been wanting to try out example a perfumes I know that it can get a little bit costly and there's no reason to have first of all there's no reason to have a million perfumes find your signature scent and call it a day call it a day but I do understand that people like scents for certain occasions and if you're traveling, it's always nice to pick up a perfume, but definitely try out Dossier, maybe purchase the perfume beforehand and then start using it on vacation. I think that's also a great idea. Again, like I said, I will have a link down below and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with my get ready with me. Okay, hi guys, get ready with me to go to Hawaii. I just booked my flight this morning and we are leaving in like four hours so i have to be ready in four hours and i haven't packed i did look over some makeup products i mean makeup some clothing items that i wanted to bring but i think i'm gonna have to go shopping there because i was not prepared i'm literally i feel like every time i've gone to hawaii it's always been like super last minute and i really don't have time to prepare for clothing so hopefully they have some good items at the stores over there but my makeup routine is um, a little bit different, not too different than what I had before. But I got like some new products that I have been trying out. So I know that I have been gone from literally like present time social media in a while. Just because you guys know I am in school and I barely, literally barely have been able to find a balance between school work and like my personal life. Milk Makeup sent me like new shades of this because the last ones didn't match me, so I have so many of their products. I'm trying to find my, I'm trying to find my brow pencil. I found this one, but I have, a, um, oh, here it is, my Anastasia one. We're gonna prime with Milk Makeup. I kind of didn't want to wear makeup for the flight, but I always do, and I don't want to look like ugly so <laughs> i didn't work out this morning and i was trying to get a legree class early but there was like nothing available and then when there was i i was still asleep so i didn't even hear the notification i did make my cup of joe i usually have americano but today i just wanted a latte mm. Mm. it's so like i feel like the oat milk is so tastes like kind of nutty to me anyway i love oat milk i haven't had it in so long so i know you guys are wanting a 
jewelry collection and I feel like I say this in every get ready with me but it is coming I did order a piece though that I do want to include in this collection so that's not coming for like another six weeks I think it'll come in earlier because that's what they told me about another piece that I had but yeah so I do want to wait just a little bit more because I don't want to like do a collection and then be like oh by the way I got all these other pieces that I'm not going to show you because I already filmed my collection like I think that's so weird I definitely want to put everything together and I don't want it to be like I don't know out of order especially if someone like decides to ask me like oh where did you get this from where did you get that from or like what did you add and then I can just refer them to the video so I think that would just be a lot easier and also I have been just loving life like I just live life <laughs> I feel like I'm back into like a routine finally and I'm also not dating anymore. Yay me. But I was, okay, so I was in New York and I did not realize how expensive it is to like be in a relationship because <laughs> in this sense, okay. And I went there and I was like, oh my God, like I spent so much money on Uber Eats because obviously I'm obviously not going out on dates and I just felt <laughs> like, I just thought it was so funny because like obviously dinners and stuff are taken care of but I had to buy my own meals and I couldn't go out on dates and book like say oh this is where I want to go for dinner I couldn't do that because I mean that's cheating right <laughs> but i did have one work dinner which i was happy about it was to the sushi place but the sushi place wasn't even that good and it was considered one of the top places in new york it was in murray hill was it in murray hill or turtle bay i think it was in murray hill it starts with a y oh my god i'm drawing a blank right now i don't even remember what it's called i can't i'm thinking of yazawa because i just was at yazawa but it's not yazawa obviously i did end up going back to new york i think you guys are watching the vlog where i went in february but i did end up going back in march and i see we are at the end of march the last tail end and i have not updated you guys like all month and i had so many exams like i don't know i didn't realize i don't remember having this many exams in school to be honest i feel like this is so much more than ever but i'm not mad at it it's just so different i did go back for my goddaughter's birthday because it is March 12th. It was just so nice seeing her again and like seeing the family and I'm just, I just love them so much. Like they're my favorite people ever. And I can't wait to go back. I don't think I'm going back until May though, just because I have obviously my trip this month is to Hawaii and then also wanna do go somewhere else for spring break. Hopefully that can happen. So for my under eyes, I actually purchased, where is it? As you guys can see, my dark circles are actually so bad. And that's because of the Grande Lash in combination of me not getting enough sleep. I don't sleep ever really when I have exams, so it's really bad. I got this Charlotte Tilbury, I don't know what it's called. I, it's like a color corrector. I just got it not yesterday, but the day before yesterday. And I really like it. I feel like I thought it was going to be a little too light for me. I was like, oh, I was thinking that I should have gotten the shade that's one darker, but I felt like that was way too orange for me. So I opted for this one and I figured if this one didn't work out, then I can just go get the other one. But I cannot wait to go to Sephora in Hawaii just because the tax is cheaper. So I feel like I'm getting things for free, <laughs> even though it's not, even though it's just less tax. It's not even that the items are cheaper there. Literally just less tax. But I always re-up on my Shantikai when I'm in, I'm in Hawaii. I don't know why. Like, it's so weird. I always do that every time. And I think I actually purchased my Shantikai foundation for the first time in Hawaii. Oh my god, I don't remember. And then I'm going to go in with the Kosas concealer. This one actually burns my under eyes. Does that mean it's expired? I should probably throw this away. I'll get a new one in Hawaii. I don't know. I'm just... I'm, I... I'm not like super super excited because you guys know I get anxious being like six hours a six hour difference from New York because that's just It's it's a long it's a long period of time like for a long distance It's just like the gap the time gap is just not ideal obviously, but I am Still very excited nonetheless. I feel like I haven't gone on a trip in forever at least nothing for myself I've gone on trips for work and then obviously to new york but just i feel like new york's kind of like it kind of almost feels like a routine now which i didn't want it to but it's kind of how it's feeling i'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush setting spray i just got a new one 
I don't have too much packing to do just because like I said, I didn't I didn't go shopping So I don't have any clothes. So I'm probably gonna get some there. Hopefully they have some cute things and I need to bring my white dress. I cannot forget that. I'm just wearing dresses pretty much the whole I don't know why I say the whole trip. I'm literally gonna be there for two days like I get there tonight at like 8 p.m. And then I'm coming back Saturday. Today's Wednesday. So I'm coming back Saturday and I like only need really four five six so my outfit going there and then breakfast and then morning outfit for thursday breakfast brunch whatever and then pretty much midday so in like eight outfits pretty much so i'm hoping that everything that i bring is like sufficient enough because you need like morning midday and then night right <laughs> and then your workout outfit so that's like four outfits in one day and then the foundation that i've been using has actually been the chanel Le Beige. I actually would not recommend this one for traveling. Let me use my Chantecaille. I just got my Chantecaille foundation. I don't really like use the puff too much. I used to when I first got it, but I realized using just a sponge is a little bit better for me anyway. I think I'm gonna get one that's like one shade darker because this is starting to look a little light. But this is my favorite foundation and still is just so good. It makes your skin look so glowy and like just so radiant it's incredible and the coverage i would say is like medium it's not really it's actually super light if depending on like how much pressure you put on it so for my bronzer i'm using the lancome of course this is actually a bb cream i don't even know if they sell this particular one anymore pretty sure they do it's part of their like natural skin line i like it because it's a face product so it's supposed to blend in seamlessly and it also is long lasting because that's the purpose this also has sunscreen in it spf 23 it's better than nothing and that's also another reason why i love it i think it's so good to have like two-in-ones at least for your face especially when sunscreen is added i was talking to my beau and he was like oh i got a facial cleanser that was like a two-in-one like it has sunblock in it i was like that's not a thing that's not a thing you can i feel like lately my coordination has not been great not even good maybe i should work on that luckily the cat sitter is not out of town she was supposed to be but i'm not sure what happened to her trip but she's leaving on saturday and i will be back on saturday so that's good i feel like i always get super lucky but next week i'm obviously not going out of town because she's not gonna be here my trips definitely do revolve around her sometimes i leave last minute and i get really paranoid that like she won't be available and i know i shouldn't rely on her like 24 7 all the time and do things super last minute but it's so hard for me to book things like in a manageable time so i purchased this this is the charlotte tilbury i don't know if this is really gonna do anything i tried using it yesterday but i didn't I don't think I really liked it. I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I always use. Yeah, I feel like it's not like pinky enough for me. It kind of looks just like an oil slick in my opinion. Do I just feel like that's not enough for me? Going back in with my trusty Laura Mercier. This one is more of like a mauve shade anyway. It's gonna look a little bit more sunburnt, which is realistic for traveling to Hawaii. I'm already tan. People always think I'm from Hawaii whenever I'm there. People never think that I'm traveling from somewhere. The sales associates always think I'm from there, which is so funny because I'll start talking about tax and then they'll say, oh, you don't live here? You're not from here? <laughs> and I'll just tell them no and it's just really funny because I, I get that like 99.9% .9 of the time. I'm going to use the Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder and put that on my under eye set and then mini Laura Mercier sorry I have the light on the it's actually raining in it's raining in LA today but I'm so excited for my jewelry pieces I did actually try on the Messica necklace and the Messica ring I will leave a screenshot on the screen so you guys can see it immediately went to my jeweler immediately <laughs> immediately I love their move necklace but the price difference for a jeweler making it compared to what it was retail, it honestly wasn't that much of a difference. At least to me, it's not that much of a difference. And so I feel like I'm not sure if that's like something that I want, but I want something similar because I feel like that look that you guys are seeing right now on screen definitely completed the stack. Like that was the perfect neck stack. I, granted, I could change out the Van Cleef. I kind of want a carnelian just because I feel like I've never seen the red, but you see Mother of Pearl everywhere now, which is like whatever, but 
I just want something different and everyone was getting like everyone was getting fake mother of pearls I feel like I kind of Really loved it when I first saw it and when I first got it and I was really excited But I think I've had this for I've had this since last year. I think last year I don't remember when like the summer did I get it in the summer? I don't remember but super happy to have it. I love it. It's just so gorgeous and it is one of my favorites especially because I have like a pretty decent sized diamond next to it I think it kind of like matches but the Messica Messica the way that that looked with the stack just was incredible it was so gorgeous there's not a lot of makeup on my makeup <laughs> I'm looking at my blush there's not a lot of jewelry on my wish list at the moment okay so I'll tell you guys what's on my wish list the love bracelet is still I, the love bracelet and the Justin Clue. Although I did order the Justin Clue, so I'll tell you guys that. Okay, but the items that I'm most excited for, honestly, are probably diamond bracelets, like diamond tennis bracelets, and the reality. And they're very expensive, of course. They are thousands and thousands of dollars. Now I saw an okay, I saw a YouTuber. I honestly don't remember who it was, so please don't crucify me. I saw an influencer and she unboxed her what she said was a five carat or no six carat total weight diamond tennis bracelet with the vs clarity whatever everything i just think it's so funny when people will say like when people will say oh i'm not gonna tell you how much this is but i could have bought two birkins with this or like two kelly's or like <laughs> like say stuff like that like okay it's twenty thousand dollars just say that just say that because you're basically saying that or maybe 30,000 with tax whatever oh um, so I just think it's funny a bracelet of all of the details that she had mentioned is not $20,000 or $25,000 <clears> the price for that would be approximately would be at the most maybe 10 maybe 10 it's it's so disheartening and like I'm not saying that like you know her bracelet isn't gorgeous like it is of course as is any tennis bracelet with great quality diamonds but i just feel like obviously know that you could have gone somewhere else to get it like for less but it's the loyalty that i guess they wanted to have with their jeweler or something i'm very much the same way there are more simple pieces that i know that i could get from other people cheaper but i decide to stick with my jeweler because you know if she sees it she's like well where did you get that not that she really cares because she doesn't it's just morally some things i just have to get with her that's just how i feel and i think it's i just think it's really funny because diamond tennis bracelets although yes they are very expensive a six carat is not worth twenty thousand dollars i'll tell you that so you could have gotten something much bigger something with maybe maybe even better clarity to be honest maybe like one more carat higher i don't know to me when i heard that price i was just like whoa that's not how much it is maybe it's because i'm fortunate enough to live near the jewelry district and i'm able to gauge prices and what things are worth and what they're not worth so i think people who aren't educated with jewelry and the prices of items you obviously are not gonna know so it's not gonna have any relevance to you so for that part i get it but i just thought it was really funny that she made that comment i could have bought two birkins i'm not going to tell you how much it is but I could have bought X, Y, and Z. Like, <laughs> okay, go off. I mean, her her bracelet's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, and it's it's great. It's, it's such a great gift. But I just think it's so funny. I got mine as a gift too. Mine is a little bit more than three carats. This is like how big mine is. It looks small, but compared my so my bestie actually has like three diamond tennis bracelets, but hers are like I think they're one carat total weight for each, and it amounts to like three, but. Hers are skinnier, so you can tell the difference when it's close to hers. But for me, when I look at this with the naked eye now, I kind of am just like, oh, whatever. Like, it looks small to me because I've had it for so long. Well, I've, I haven't even had it for a year. I got it in July of last year, but I don't know. To me, it just looks like small now. So you obviously, like, when you're into jewelry, you just want something bigger and bigger and bigger and better. And so, yeah, I'm looking at one that's a five carat total weight. And I kind of wanted to do six, but I didn't want to push it because I feel like six was kind of, it was a lot. Wanted to stick between, it's usually like, just say it's almost like a thousand dollars approximately. Could be a little bit more than a thousand per carat weight for your diamond tennis bracelet. So this one is three point something. I think it's like 3.1 or 3.2. Paid $3,000 for this one, I believe. And obviously with tax, 3,300. So LA tax. But if you pay in cash, usually you don't have to pay tax in the jewelry district so just keep that in mind always bring cash with you and it might you might think like 
you might think oh i don't want to bring that much cash with me for shopping in the jewelry district but it's kind of almost a necessity because there is so much inventory and you're gonna probably want to shop around and like do all of that and it's already expensive enough to get a piece that's worth so much money but it's even more to spend more on tax and do all of that yeah and obviously if it's an item that you're gonna keep forever you don't there's no need to like put it on a card or something unless you of course want to insure it like that's totally reasonable just putting inner corner highlight right now so much to learn about the jewelry district and just all that jazz i didn't even put on a highlighter underneath i'm so sad i wanted to Laura Mercier. I'll show you guys my airport outfit. I honestly don't even know what I'm gonna wear yet. So hopefully I figure it out. I love it. Just so the reason why I put the Laura Mercier down after I do highlight is because I love the highlighting shade for like underneath. But then for like for the ultra dramatics, for the pop, I love using the Laura Mercier. And then I had a question about the inner corner glitter eyeliner. And I actually used I used the Innisfree and someone said that I had more of a silvery tint. And that's actually because this is a silvery undertone. And then this one is a golden silvery undertone. And I usually use why is the light like this? I usually use this one. So this has a silver undertone and I really like the way that it looks, but sometimes silver does not look that great. And I started doing the crayon underneath because it does allow it to hold longer. I think I'm gonna do the gold though. I don't, no, actually, this I think this is a little too chunky. I'm just gonna stick with this one because it's just what I know and love. I can't, I just realized I'm flying United today, I'm flying Delta when I come back because Delta's my airline, but I just realized I can't go to the Delta lounge. But I think the Centurion lounge should be good. I haven't been to the one in LAX. I did get my Amex Platinum not too long ago, but I realized that I didn't have a gold beforehand. So, and I didn't realize you either get the gold or you get the rose gold. And I love the rose gold shade because it's just so pretty. I wouldn't, I honestly, okay. So when I saw the Justin Clue initially, my jeweler had a rose gold one and I'll leave a picture on the screen, but I decided that I didn't want rose gold because I left there paying for that one, that particular one. And then once I left, I wasn't super excited or thrilled or anything really about it. So I messaged her literally as I'm walking down the street, like coming home. And you guys and I live right like super close to the jewelry district. So I ended up messaging her and I said, hey, you know what? Like I'm not super thrilled or excited about the gold, about the rose gold. Like, I don't know. It's just not my thing. Um, and she's not going to pressure me into purchasing something that... I don't want so i decided that that's not a piece that was making me excited so i just told her that i wanted it in gold and i feel like gold is definitely the standard it's just easier to match with everything and i think rose gold although pretty i would just prefer it in smaller smaller items like rings or maybe like a dainty necklace or something but just not something that is on my arm forever because essentially i would never take it off so i was doing a wing eyeliner but my eyeliner is it's a little messed up right now did i throw it away oh my god i think i did oh, why did i do that i should have waited until i got a new one. Oh no it's right here okay so i don't know why i did my lips already but i'm gonna use the l'oreal infallible eyeliner and i just do a tiny wing and this is in brown, so it's not harsh, but it just adds a little something, something. Yeah, I need to get to the airport early because I hate rushing and I need to sign up for clear today. So I want to get there early to do that. Although actually I probably won't do clear today because I'm so lazy. <laughs> for my eyes, I did get a lash lift. I don't necessarily love how it looks because I feel like it's too curly and it kind of hits the top of my eyelid because my eyelids kind of like droop down a little bit. But I will tell you that I only tight line the center where my iris is just the center i don't go all the way to the ends because that'll tend to bleed on my eyes at least and then i'll look like i have raccoon eyes and the mascara that i've been using i think i told you guys this already but i'm using the thrive mascara and i don't recall using i i think i used this before but i don't know how if i didn't have eyelashes before I love the Thrive Mascara. I think I'm going to order the brown one just because I haven't. Oh, I look crazy. I'm going to order the brown one because I have not tried that one and 
the brown mascara looks so pretty those are my eyelashes and then i got this i got this in a pack of four it's from amazon and it's just an eyelash curler or no not an eyelash curler speaking of eyelash curler i bought the shiseido eyelash curler and i really really loved it but then i got my lash lift and i couldn't use it but i feel like when i curl my eyelashes they curl straight up which i love okay i love that look but because i got the lash lift it curls them so i guess it's better it looks like you know uh, like naturally better i do miss how my eyelashes looked because they look so much longer i wanted to try the trend where you like stick your eyelashes together and i think it's really pretty but i'm kind of like nervous because i don't know i just don't think it works for me that is what my makeup looks like i love it this is like oh my god <laughs> what is this a spot on my forehead they're not covered up I usually don't wear makeup on my forehead, but then I saw on TikTok that people were like, we can tell when you don't wear makeup on your forehead. And I was like, but my forehead is so clear. It was. I'm gonna get Botox like this year. I finally decided because we need to stop that. That needs to stop for sure. I can't tell. I feel like my eyebrow looks a little too harsh. You guys, why didn't you guys tell me that my eyebrows were so bad before? They were like thick and like so ugly. Oh my God. Oh, I wish there was a Goyard in Hawaii. I'm actually really sad that there's not. I wonder if they would put one though, but there's one in LA and then one in Japan. So like, why why would they put one in a city that's right in the middle? I feel like they might though, because Goyard has been expanding. So they might. I don't know why New York gets so many Goyards. We only have one here in LA, but I'm actually glad that there's not a lot everywhere because then it would just be everywhere. And of course you see like, you see the totes, but where do you see them? Online. You don't see them in person. Not that I don't want the St. Louis tote though. I really want the Artois. That's more ideal for me. And I wanted the Alpine backpack. That's something that I think is so cute. I need a backpack. But because I ran out of my bare minerals, well, let me show you guys how much I have left. I Okay, I also went to go see the, the Hourglass because I feel like some people said that that's very similar. I, didn't, I think it, the Hourglass is too shimmery though. Well, I guess... Okay, this looks shimmery, but I guess it's the same concept. I just feel like that one looked too shimmery, but I might give it a try. I'm just kind of like thinking because I don't want to like buy it in Hawaii and then return it here and then... Or like whatever. And then I have to pay more for like an exchange. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. I'm trying to be smarter about my money and I've been investing more in my high yield savings. So that's super important to me right now. And then I also did heatless curls last night because I knew I wanted my hair curly, but I did not want to like curl it. Add heat to it for no reason. That is my makeup done. Let's go ahead and spritz. We're going to set this. Okay, so I do want to mention if I'm not wearing this lip, I'm wearing... I know like you guys canceled Kylie, okay? I know, I'm team Selena too, okay? But her coconut lip liner, this is my favorite thing ever. Like I cannot stray away from this. It's just perfect for me. But anyway, if I'm not wearing the Dior lip oil with the liner, I'm wearing the Chanel. This is the Rouge Alert Ink in 176 Warm Beige. That would be my lip combo and i usually wear that for longer days where i'm not because usually i will drink i'm drinking i'm always drinking something so because of that that one wears a little bit better on the lips when you're drinking because it does kind of stain so it looks better but then this one will just kind of fade into nothingness so yeah just depending on how i feel those are usually the only lip products that i like to have but i'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and then i'll be back to show you guys my final look Okay, so this is my final look for the airport, obviously. So I'm going to wear this dress. This is from Rioa, and it just has gold buttons all the way down. And then I'm wearing them with my Superga sneakers because you guys know I love these shoes, and they're so comfortable to me. They're like my everyday shoes. And I think just a pair of clean white shoes are a necessity. And my necklaces uh, are the earring bone and then a diamond pendant. Van Cleef and then also like the four kind of four like a clover diamond almost um similar to like the Alhambra but just mini diamonds and just the same thing so yeah that's my look I have my suitcase here and then I'm also bringing my long bag also this is just my Burberry 
jacket let me put it on so you guys can actually see this is what the jacket looks like it's actually really warm and it does look a little short on me like it looks kind of weird with the dress but with jeans i promise you like it looks really cute i just need a jacket for the flight because i don't have one and everything else that i had just did not go with the look so i figured this was like okay it kind of looks like i have on like just a skirt but it's fine and i'll just have this draped over me i'm actually not gonna wear it right now this is the louis vuitton mini it's like the mini pochette from the multi pochette and then i just have this from queen and basic and then this pearl strap is also from queen and basic and then i'm wearing my chanel sunnies not chanel <laughs> i put the chanel ones away these are the celine um my celine sunnies i love the gradient i always try to cover the logo though because so many people have fake ones and i'm kind of embarrassed to wear these but it's fine <laughs> i'll try i want to get new sunglasses because i feel like i'm not i, I hate it <laughs> I got them like last year in August and not a lot of people had them and then I started seeing a bunch of like fakes and like unboxings and I was like okay I'm over it. I always get over things really fast but yeah so that's my look and it's very simple. It's very simple. I usually wear my slacks believe it or not on like long haul flights which is actually insane. I wear them whenever I go to New York. Yeah nothing really new right now. I didn't get my bracelet for my jeweler because I just like don't have time. I actually could go today but I don't really want to um because i have to head out so yeah that's my outfit for my airport look i hope that you guys like it that is my look i hope you guys like it i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. i miss you guys so much and do not fret i will be <laughs> i will be back next week with more videos i have time to edit and everything and school is kind of like calming down just to, just a tad bit just a tad bit so yeah i might be able to get some videos out sorry guys i've just been like super stressed out don't mind me but yeah that's my look um hopefully i can post in hawaii but i will post on my instagram if you guys follow me there exo jenny day and i'll probably post when i leave when i leave hawaii so you guys will see that but anyway love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to check out dossier in the description bar down below bye